Okay, welcome back to my channel. It's Charlie here. So in today's video, I'm going to do something that I haven't done before. I'm going to be ranking every single lead scraping software out there in 2024 to give you the cheapest but highest quality and easiest to use softwares. So after this video, you can literally implement it straight away and start getting really high quality leads without breaking the bank. Because especially if you're starting your journey, whether it's an agency or coaching offer, it gets expensive. So I really wanted to do this for the beginners out there just to give you the best possible lead scraping softwares. Now, yeah, as I just mentioned, I'm going to be ranking this on the actual quality, but also how cost effective and how easy it is to use. So these three categories um, and make sure you stick to the end of the video because I'm going to be giving you my favorite lead sourcing method that I won't put on this list because I want to keep it a secret. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. Now, the first one we've got on the screen right is apollo.io now if you don't know what apollo is it's one of the biggest b2b lead scraping softwares out there um probably the biggest hopefully i'm correct by saying that um and the i'll give you the pros so the pros is that it gives you great um emails phone numbers first name all that good stuff but the problem is two things one that it gets really expensive but not even that the biggest other problem is that if you don't have a in-person niche now what i mean by that is if you're working with um coaches or like marketing agencies or you know these types of businesses that don't actually have an in-person store or like an office then it's going to be really hard to get um, apollo to actually scrape those leads so for that reason i'm going to put it into b which is like um a bit above mid tier basically it's really good and if you've got money just do it um but yeah, I, I would recommend it. It's just not the most cost effective and it's definitely not the best one out there. Um, so next we've got Instant Data Scraper. Now, not many people will know what this is. It's essentially a Chrome extension. Um, so just like up here, I've got a bunch of like automation, um, you know, softwares and tools. Um, essentially what this does is if you have a, if let's say you do a search on Google Maps or you are on um, realtor.com or a place in which you have all your leads laid out, what this software can do is it can automatically scrape it from the internet and put it into a CSV or Google Sheets for you. Um, and it's really cheap. So for that reason, I'm also going to put it into this tier. One, because it's a bit maybe tricky to set up, but it's a lot more cheap than Apollo. And that's why I put it there basically. And it does sort of um, the same things, but this is like way easier to use because you just put your niche and it will just search it. So Apollo is great, but I'm speaking for beginners. Um, who don't have like $100 a month to just spend on um, softwares or like multiple softwares. Um, next is Lead Kahuna. I'm just going to put this into C. It's pretty decent, but um, yeah, there's not too much to say about it. Um, Phantom Buster, this is one of my favorite ones. Um, the reason being, and I'm not affiliated with them before you say that, um, it's because they have a 14-day trial. Now, this works in a very similar way to Instant Data Scraper. So if we were to do a simple Google uh, Maps search, so let's say you're working with, um, I don't know, dentists, you could go into Google, search dentists, click on maps, and then essentially let, um, you would create like a, a playbook um, in which this would just run and go through the, the pages and basically just put it into a CSV for you. And then you can upload it to um, either like a cold email software or do your cold SMS outbound, which is the most effective way of getting meetings. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to put this in A, which is like almost the best one in my opinion. Um, and it's cheap, like that's why it's cheap. It's pretty easy to use. You should just create like a um, like a playback thing so it can do it. Um, and then you can just let it run and you can get like a free trial on it. So you can pretty much get leads or test it out for free. Um, I think some of these other softwares do have free trials, but yeah. Um, next is LeadSwift now. The benefits of Lead Swift is that it's literally like $20 a month. So it's insane. Um, and if you're going for like more quantity, so you just want to send out like 500 emails a day and you want to do it like cheap, um, then I would go with like Lead Swift. It's a decent option. But the problem is that it doesn't really give you the first name of the actual like lead, which is a massive problem. So you have to use a company name. It's not the end of the world, but it's definitely not the best. Um, so for that reason, I'll put this in C tier. So a bit like, I would say it's average. Um, it's really cheap. So if you're looking for the cheapest option to get leads and just send out SMS, send out emails, then Lead Swift is great. Um, but the problem is that the quality is not there. But in terms of simplicity, it's literally the easiest software to use and it's cheap. So 
if you're a beginner and you just want to get leads for like 20 bucks or 19 dollars however much it is then go with lead swift um it's definitely not the best but yeah and let me put this in here so you can see what it refers to next is um lead scrape now i haven't actually used this one but i have heard a lot of people use it and um once again it's very similar to all the rest i'm just going to put this into c um c tier um next is linkedin sales navigator now this is going to be controversial because i know a lot of people use this in my opinion it's really expensive um you have to like pay for the in mails and it can start to add up a lot um uh, so the reason you would use this is if you're targeting more like um online companies so like online b2b companies that then i would probably use um something like linkedin um or like um yeah i, I guess you could just use linkedin sales navigator so i'm gonna put this in c tier it's great like if you've got money go for it um but yeah if, you, if you're working with like regular niches like real estate um dentists or you know gyms or coaches the only you would use this for coaches but not like the rest you would use like apollo or lead kahuna or phantom buster or lead swift for like in-person actual niches whereas if you're working with more online b2b companies then sure go with um linkedin sales navigator for example d7 lead finder okay the the pros with this is that it gives you good phone numbers but the emails are like the worst thing i've ever seen so a massive constraint i see when it comes to cold emails is that people think that you just have your copy, so the words, and then you have an email software to send it, and boom, you'll start booking meetings and start uh, getting clients. That could not be further from the truth. You've got to realize that if you understand the theory of constraints, meaning that a system, so when we look at a client acquisition system, it's only as powerful as the biggest constraint it has. So a massive constraint that a lot of beginners have is the, um, the actual quality of leads or their lead sourcing method that they put into the system. So... Um, this gives you decent phone numbers. So if you want to do like SMS or cold calling, you can use D7 Lead Finder. It's pretty affordable. Um, but if you're looking for cold emails, the, this is like not the one to use. So I, I can't I can't really mark it in here. So it's hovering around here or here actually. I'll put it in D just because we haven't had a D. But if you want phone numbers, then you can use it. But anything else, don't use it. Um, next is find emails. And so now we're getting into the more technical, um, yeah, B2B like, softwares that you probably haven't heard of we're getting into the the dark ages here find email is great it's people don't really understand it but um essentially you can use it just like um linkedin or another um yeah software like linkedin sales navigator it's basically a really good email finder um yeah once again i think it's like 79 dollars a month and then there's like 127 dollars a month i could be completely wrong um but it is one of the better higher quality ones so for that reason I'm going to put it into A tier, um, but it could be B tier very easily. So maybe I'll put it like there, I'll hover in between the two. Um, yeah, use um, Artemis. This is another like decent one. I don't know if they've shut it down because I haven't used this in ages, but um, it's pretty decent. It's on the pricier side, but the quality of leads is decent. So I'm going to put it into B tier. Um, this one is essentially called Groman. If you're looking to scrape leads from Instagram, then it's great but if you can't let you do anything else apart from it so i'm going to put it into e sadly it's going into e tier um but yeah if you want instagram urls into a google sheet then use it if not it's no use to you um next you've got instantly.ai now instantly.ai you probably all know as a cold email sending software however they've recently just put um yeah a feature where you can actually scrape leads and i haven't had a chance to test this i've heard a lot of my uh, friends use it and they all say that it's pretty bad <laughs> to be honest um so I'll, i'm going to put it into d tier um that's that now bardeen this acts very similar to like phantom buster so i'm going to put it into uh b tier and then we've got upwork now this is probably the the best one to be honest because instead of paying for all these softwares you've got here right what you can do is you can go on to upwork um make sure you have an upwork client account put in the search bar of lead scraping or just lead scraping, click search. And what you're going to find is you're going to find um, people from India, Pakistan, the Philippines, who are all already paying for like Apollo and the software. So they're already paying for it. So what you can do is write a copy and paste message, um, which says like, hey, first name, do you have any of these softwares like Apollo or um, LinkedIn Sales Navigator? 
and how much would it be to put out a search for me? So what you're doing is you're sort of leveraging people who are already paying for these softwares and spending you know, $100 a month or $200 a month and you're just getting them to do a single search for you in which you could get like anywhere from one to 5,000 leads for like $10 or like $15. And that's what I usually teach people to do. Um, so for that reason, it's going in, um, I don't, it can, I'll, I'll hover it between here just because it makes sense. Like you can literally, and it's a bit of trial and error. What you'll do is you'll send a message um, to these like um, freelancers and you, you want to send about 10 to 15 messages and see whoever can do it the cheapest and see who is happy to do a search for like real estate or gyms or whatever niche you're in for like $10 and you'll get like a few thousand, which is insane. Um, now I did say I would mention my actual favorite way of getting leads. And this is a bit, once again, controversial, a bit like the LinkedIn sales navigator. But I personally, now I, just, I do want to say that I couldn't, if you're offended by any of these searches, um, it's hard for me to give you a set answer for which is the best and which is the worst because whatever niche you're in, there's going to be better ways to find leads. Um, for example, if you're working with older people, then LinkedIn Sales Navigator or um, use Artemis or find email and you could leverage LinkedIn for that would be better because that's where they spend the most time. Likewise, Facebook would be great if you're targeting people over 40 or 50, 60 years old, do Facebook DMs. Um, but if you're targeting right people under 30 years old, then Instagram and Twitter and YouTube are the free sort of platforms I would have at your top of the funnel. And what I mean by top of funnel, meaning that that is somewhere in which you are putting content out and you're trying to get attention on those platforms. It could be following 100 people a day on Instagram and then posting a bit of inbound so everyone that follows you back gets you know in, into your ecosystem. Um, but if you're working with people under 30, let's say you're targeting like e-commerce or... Um, I don't know, coaches like I do or agencies, it would not make sense probably to use any of these softwares besides um, probably, where is it? Um, Phantom Buster just for like, you know, regular searching or something in which you could find them. But what I would do is I would get inbound leads. Now, the, the way in which you want to do this is by creating a free lead magnet. Now, hopefully everyone watching this knows exactly what a free lead magnet is. Um, but essentially what you would do is on Twitter or Instagram, or Facebook or LinkedIn or whatever platform you're on or where you should target where your niche hangs out so where they spend the most time. But you should be creating um, valuable posts and then at the end, comment, get them to comment a keyword underneath the post. Um, for example, let's say I make an Instagram reel and I say um, comment the word doc, like D-O-C, and I'll send you a 10-page Google Doc going exactly over how I create content or how I use AI in my agency or whatever. Um, and what you'll get is you'll get a bunch of qualified people who are kind of nurtured because they know who you are. Um, and then you can just go ahead and message them. And if a post goes viral and you get to uh, and you remember to say that keyword, then you're going to get thousands of leads, whether it's on X, so Twitter or on Instagram. And that is probably the best way to get leads if you're working with people under the demographic of uh, 30 years old, basically. Um, so, yeah, building a personal brand should not be under estimated because it's one of the best ways to get leads basically because they are already nurtured and the middle of the funnel can be a lot um, less and the, and the sales cycle will also be 10 times shorter than cold outbound basically so yeah hopefully you found this video um, helpful if you did just leave a like uh, comment and subscribe now I looked at the back end of my YouTube channel and I realized that I think 75% of you guys watching this aren't subscribed which is crazy because I post so much value on this channel so if you're going to do anything, um, please just hit the subscribe button. And in return, I promise I will post more and more and put out more free value. So at least, um, you know, you, you can get all the education and increase your learning curve as fast as possible. Um, if you want to work with me one to one, you want me to help you build your offer, build your messaging scripts, help you build a personal brand, give you my exact sales uh, scripts and my sales systems, as well as AI infrastructure and automation, then feel free to have a chat with me. I'll leave it as the first link in the description. Um, yeah, you can book a call. You'll speak with me directly, not a sales rep, because I know a lot of people uh, do that. Um, and yeah, we can see if we're a good fit to work together um, and see if I can possibly help you. Um, if not, no worries. I'm going to be uploading some more bangers on the channel soon. Um, and yeah, catch you in the next video. Take care and remember to subscribe.